Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mr. Net Physics Exam. And guys, in today's video, I am going to discuss some of the very important concepts of thermodynamics and statistical physics. I hope that this video is going to help you to prepare all these important topics, concepts and formulae well and will help you to solve most of the questions of thermodynamics and statistical physics. So it's gonna be a kind of like a quick revision session for thermodynamics and statistical physics part. I hope it's gonna be helpful for you and as well as guys, you can share this video with your friends to help them in their preparation. It will be one of the important videos for CSR and net physics exam preparation as well as for gate physics exam preparation. Now let's quickly start the discussion about it. Also guys, before starting the discussion about all these points, I'm just going to tell you about the Unacademy Plus subscription. As you all know, we are going to have so many important courses going on on Unacademy Plus as well as there are going to be uh, like uh, the new courses which are going to start soon for your next CSI or net exam clear as well as for gate physics exam so guys if you will take the unacademy plus subscription you will be able to attend the sessions of all these important courses and they will help you a lot to prepare well for all these upcoming exams also guys once you will take the unacademy plus subscription after that you will be able to attend the live classes by all the top educators we are having on unacademy plus for your upcoming exam preparation and by using and by applying the referral code which is Anshali Arora as it is mentioned here no space in between that's how you need to write it and apply it you will get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy plus subscription amount now uh, let's just talk about all the important points which I'm going to cover up in this video so the first topic I have considered is the Ising model here I have just mentioned the energy expression for the Ising model case the first term that is minus j summation sisj that is representing the interaction energy as well as the second one the second part in which the mu b h and summation sigma is present along with negative sign okay so that is the term due to the uh, energy associated with the magnetic field okay so that is again interaction energy but corresponding to magnetic field also guys here SISJ or the sigma symbol I have taken here okay so I should consider only one of the symbols either S or sigma you can even take sigma or you can even write it as S so all these are just gonna represent the Ising spins Ising spins can all only have the values either plus one or minus one so either this can have a value plus one or minus one this can have a value plus one or minus one again this is like due to the magnetic field so only one Ising spin is there and since it is due to the interaction between the particles so interaction will take place between two particles and that's how we are going to have the two Ising spins mentioned here clear so this is going to be like the important expression as per Ising model then I have considered the first order phase transition. So guys in the first order phase transition the Gibbs free energy will be continuous while the first order derivative of the Gibbs free energy will be discontinuous. Also in this case the number density, number of particles per unit volume, okay then volume and like S they are going to be discontinuous at transition point. And the examples of the first order phase transition solid to liquid conversion or liquid to solid conversion, liquid to vapor uh, conversion that's going to be away from the critical point which will be the example of the first order phase transition and solid to vapor or vapor to solid transitions are even going to be the examples of first order phase transition then if i am going to talk about the next one that's related to second order phase transition and guys in this case the g that is gibbs free energy and the first order derivative of gibbs free energy they will be continuous while the second order derivative will be discontinuous and in this case the s n and v are gonna be the continuous one okay next thing there are three examples i have mentioned the first one is paramagnetic state to paramagnetic state conversion okay and normal state to superconducting state conversion liquid to vapor at critical point okay the next one is Wayne's law like it's again important so lambda into t the product will be constant also guys the stephen's law that is going to tell you about the power per meter square okay uh, like it's gonna be proportional to t to the power 4 next thing for classical harmonic oscillator and quantum harmonic oscillator i have mentioned the partition function expressions which are again important 
one more thing guys if you need more time to observe any formula you just want to uh, look at a particular slide for some more time you can take your time okay so next point it's gonna be Cla uh, clausius clapron equation here l is representing the latent heat and all the other symbols are going to have just their usual meaning then we are going to have the relative probability guys what is relative probability that i have mentioned here it is the ratio of the probability of finding the particle in same state upon the probability of finding the particle in different states we are denoting it here with gamma also guys the next expression is corresponding to entropy which is going to be k log omega where omega is representing the number of microstates and there is one important expression we are going to have which is for log factorial n if we are going to talk about this expression it is going to be equal to n log n minus n that's how you can simplify it next number of microstates corresponding to maxwell boltzmann statistics then bose einstein statistics and then fermi dirac statistics i have mentioned here okay so these are the direct formula you can use to get the number of microstates in different statistics i hope it's going to be helpful for all of you you can observe it and i hope it will get clear to every one of you now van der waals equation of a state for real gas for n moles we have mentioned it here okay and also the critical constants values like vc tc and pc how they are related to the a and b coefficients or you can say the constants that's what we have considered here okay these are even going to be the important values of these constants next thing the isothermal compressibility guys if we are going to talk about that it's going to be minus 1 upon v delta v upon delta p at constant t and the coefficient of expansion that's going to be corresponding to volume expansion we are talking about it here then that's why we are mentioning 1 upon v delta v upon delta t it will be if it will be corresponding to length so instead of volume you have to consider the length okay also guys if we are going to talk about the ds that is change in entropy you can write it as like dq is equal to tds or like i have sim uh, simplified or just shown you the expression in terms of latent heat so l is again the latent heat here depending on what are the given parameters in the question you will have to use the formula and that's how you'll be able to simplify the expression next is coefficient of performance guys here how it is related to efficiency that's what i have mentioned here then also guys what is efficiency that is 1 minus q2 upon q1 q2 is the value which is uh, smaller than q1 okay it will not be the greater one it will be the smaller one smaller okay smaller value you need to write because the efficiency cannot be greater than 1 okay or cannot be negative as well so it is the value uh, basically negative value we should say okay H hence we will have this value less than the q1 okay so smaller value in the numerator for the efficiency part also guys if we are going to talk about the next point we are going to consider that is related to calorimetry principle it helps us to get the equilibrium temperature expression as you can see it is mentioned here m1 c1 t1 plus m2 c2 t2 upon m1 c1 plus m2 c2 if we are going to have a box in which there are two compartments okay compartment 1 compartment 2 and there is a wall in between and when you are going to remove this wall what will be the equilibrium temperature that's what we find from here and their parameters m1 c1 t1 for first compartment m2 c2 t2 for the second compartment we are going to have okay so after removing the wall what will be the equilibrium temperature that's what we are getting to know with the calorimetry principle then we are going to have the adiabatic equation which is pv to the power gamma is equal to constant or you can write it by just changing or putting the values from pv is equal to nrt because n and r will be constant so depending on other parameters you will be able to get it in this way or even you can do further conversion to get some other uh, parameters expression like in terms of them you can make more changes for pre expansion case guys delta q and delta u you can take equal to 0 next point if i'm talking about the gamma okay that's going to be cp upon cv and you can even write it in terms of degrees of freedom so 1 plus 2 upon f where f is equal to like representing here degrees of freedom so for monoatomic diatomic and triatomic case the values of f i have mentioned here you can consider them and you will get to know about the gamma value for different cases then we are going to have the equipartition theorem guys and here for the non relativistic case we have mentioned this thing that every quadratic term okay present in the hamiltonian will contribute the energy 
what half kvd okay that will be the energy contribution by the every quadratic term okay next is the partition function formula that is summation over i g i e to the power minus beta e i where g i is the degeneracy of corresponding energy which you will put here and average energy if you want to consider that it's going to be summation over i g i e i e to the power minus beta e i upon z where z is again the partition function clear next thing if we are going to have the v given to us that means the potential expression given to us depending on that you can write the partition function in this manner you will firstly write the hamiltonian with that thing and then just write the partition function in this way also guys if you will have more than one variables here t is representing the kinetic energy and v is representing the potential energy if you will have more than one variables in that case you can write these terms like for px py separately you can increase those like uh, uh, variable terms okay it's okay then now next is free energy how you can find it in terms of partition function minus kbt log z the cv specific heat capacity it's going to be delta u upon delta t at constant v entropy in terms of probability minus kb summation over i pi pi is the probability here log pi this is another important expression so guys i hope all these important expressions and the formula which i have provided you in this video which we have discussed in this video they will help you to prepare well for the exam and get to know about many concepts thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end and all the best everyone for your exam and you all can do it just believe in yourself it's gonna be easy stay relaxed and that's something very important for the exam avoid negative marking okay and all these things together will help you to do well and to get good marks thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end and for your upcoming exams preparation like you can even take the unacademy plus subscription for gate physics exam preparation okay because we are going to have the courses for upcoming csir net after this which you will have okay and the gate physics exam courses as well so yeah all these courses will help you a lot together to prepare well for your upcoming exams also guys whenever you will take the unacademy plus subscription you can use and apply the referral code that is anjali arora as it is mentioned here by using and by applying this referral code you will get the 10 percent discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount no space in between that's how you need to write it and apply it thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you